Greetings, greetings, greetings. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys for checking another video out. All right, my peeps. So coming up in this one, couple of information I want to share with you guys. Uh, it seems as if the Hetmeyer family, they produce people that score a whole lot of runs. You understand? Um, Shimran Hetmeyer's nephew, he scored a double century recently at the under 15 level. And he has scored quite a few centuries at this level, you know, my peeps. Gonna give you some more information about the youngster. Plus, gonna take a look at that test match that is being played between New Zealand and England. And we also see where, um, you know, South Africa, they have decided to name a new test captain, Temba Bavuma has taken over from Dean Elgar. Not too sure how good of a move that is, but I will give my two cents on that. Plus, you know, on a sad note, uh, Jamaica, we are actually mourning um, a former WNBA player, Simone Edwards. I think she married and became Simone Forbes, but she died yesterday. So gonna talk about that a little bit. Just hit that subscribe button as you listen. Yes, my peeps, so, the first one that I want to focus on here, um, let me just give credit where credit is due. I am taking this information from Creek Nation and they are known to publish a lot of stuff um, you know, on cricketers from Guyana. Apparently they are a Guyana based um, you know, outlet. They, they have their page on Facebook, YouTube and, and stuff like that. And, you know, they put out a lot of information. So I am taking this one from, from, from the Creek Nation website. Um, and they are saying that Shimran Hetmeyer's nephew, his name, um, is Adrian Hetmeyer, actually slammed a double century, um, in the Burbies, uh, under 15 competition. So it's a Burbies cricket board under 15 competition. He got a double century. And, you know, I have to say a shout out to him. Um, based on what they are saying here, he batted for over three hours and he had 13 fours and 11 sixes in that knock. No, he scored, um, one, it, that score came off 122 deliveries. You understand? So that is good there. They said that, um, this innings is not of any major surprises because, you know, um, this is his fifth set, the fifth time he would have crossed the, the, the century mark, the 100 mark in um, the under 15 competition. So they have played seven games and this is the fifth time that he is getting past 100. So, you know, seems as if he has an appetite for scoring a lot of runs. You know, good to see, you know, we always like to highlight youngsters when they are scoring runs like this. Just the other day, you know, we had a, a, a Jamaican scoring a double century. You know, we gave a highlight, we're talking about at the same, I think you're under 15 level. Just the same, we also had a youngster at the under 19 level in schoolboy cricket scoring a double century. So, you know, when you see these things, we definitely have to highlight them. So they say he's the son of Sian Hetmeyer. You understand? So that would be um, Shimran Hetmeyer's nephew. So I am hoping that this youngster will grow up and will keep the love for the game, keep the love for batting long, and eventually will, you know, transition into the West Indies um, program. You know, we can always do with people that 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 can score runs. I mean, it's it's the under fifteen level. People will say. You know, he's not doing it at the international level, but I like to tell people this. You can only play the cricket that is in front of you. So at the under 15 level, that is the competition that he is coming up against. So he has to play in that competition, show his, domin his dominance, hopefully go on to the under 19, do the same thing, and then at the senior level. You can only play the cricket that is in front of you. So um, shout out um, to the young some of viewers and subscribers. All right, uh, moving on to the next um, story here. Now, I am taking what, this one from the Jamaica Observer. And they are reporting that Simone Edwards, you know, um, former Jamaica basketball player. She also played for the Seattle um, Storm, for the Seattle Storm. You understand? And um, based on the report that is coming out, she passed away yesterday at the age of 49. You understand? She was diagnosed with aggressive 
ovary and uh, cancer so you know she wasn't able to, to, to battle it out um, things she was diagnosed in early 2021 and um, you know she passed away played quite a few games in the women's WNBA um, won a couple of titles also you understand and after retiring from um, the WNBA um she she i think she she won the title in 20 in 2004 yeah man she won the title in 2004 with the new york liberty based on what i am seeing here and then she went on to play for the seattle storm so you know she played quite a few games in the wnba and after that she would have coached she would have served as the president of jamaica basketball association the women's um, basketball you know um and thing and uh, she did some coaching also so you know we just want to say condolences to the family and to all her friends as they mourn her loss you know so it's always tough to lose a loved one my peeps anyways um le let us let us just continue uh in this one so this test match between england and new zealand we have England, you know, they batted first and they were able to put together 325 and they for nine declared. You understand? Um, Duckett, he scored 84 and Harry Brook, who they like to call the golden boy, he got 89. You know, he, he seems to be a, a, a good cricketer. So 325 for nine uh, with Duckett 84 and Harry Brook 89. Neil Wagner. He was the pick of the New Zealand bowlers, getting uh, four wickets. Now, in reply, New Zealand, they got off to a poor start. But, you know, the wicket keeper, batsman, Blundell, he was able to get a century. Actually scored 138. So the team was able to put together 306 all out. You understand? So 138, he got Devon Conway, got 77. In terms of the bowling for England, it was Oli Robinson that picked up four wickets and um, Anderson that got three wickets. So that is how things are looking. Um, but in a second time, England at the end of day two, they were what, 79 for two. So definitely going to continue to keep a close eye on this one. Seems as if it's going to be a very, very um, interesting uh, game. England currently in the lead. You understand so um uh we hope we hope they are there we hope this game will turn out to be a, a a good one all right uh just before we go my peeps south africa they earlier today named um their new test captain and temba bavuma he is now the new test captain you understand he has taken over from i think it was dean elgar that was the captain so i am not too sure about that you know my peeps because he, he uh, you know he's re well the last couple of games I think he, he got he got some runs under his belt but he has had a, a really horrible time with the bat so you know not sure probably this is them saying that he is undroppable they are never really going to drop him so this is cheap they give him the captaincy I, I don't know which other way to put it my viewers and subscribers but he's now the new captain so we go I just wanted to let you guys know as they say um that is that is rich people business we have our own problems here in the caribbean to deal with you know yesterday we named our captain captains for the white ball team and um we're still hearing debates about all of that so you know we're going to leave it right there for now my peeps hopefully sunday we will be able to have a live so we can have a discussion about all of these topics big up on yourself my peeps